Oh, I like, can't stab it. I, I wonder how much of this, it. how much the stuff was water. always here. Uh, I mean, this is all the uh, the starting area of the of the desert biome. So I think yeah. this has always been here. Maybe. So I'm wondering how final the continent was when they launched the game for the first time. I don't know. I don't know. Is this the edge of the world again? Looks like it. Oh, there's a wreckage, there's a wreckage in that rock. That looks like a pain to get to. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, there's a whole, oh yeah, that shoreline down there has a bunch of resources. You see that on the left? To the left? Yeah, you can make a you can make out a bunch of different outcroppings. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and even bauxite. Nope. Oh. I have no idea where else we'd go for bauxite. Yeah, Explody. No the prime meridian is the opposite of the equator. Well, no, it's I the opposite of Ecuador. What? <laughs> yeah, the, Duh, the, get your geography logically right. I think of like, oh, there's a baby one over here. It's a meridian that's indivisible. Base. By except for one in itself. Oh yeah, look at this little shit. The idea did that all the water that, goes in there. Did you know that prime numbers are the same numbers even if you put them in different bases? That's definitely not true. Yeah, it's true. Oh, like the number one is prime in every base. Sure. You're saying that you're just trying. To, you're saying that they're still prime in other bases. Yeah. I thought you meant they were. Exp I thought you meant like they'd be expressed the same way. I'm like, that's not how bases work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way bases work, is that, like, yeah. if you're in a base ten, if, if, if you're in a base... Well, yeah, like, whether something's prime system, or not has nothing to do with whether it's in base 10 to begin with, so... Yeah. 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 It's one of those facts that sounds cooler until you think about yeah. it a little bit, and you're like, that's... <laughs> Really Do you know that prime that numbers are still prime all. in Spanish? I mean, <laughs> Espanol. <laughs> wow. What a Snapple fact that one was. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> all right. Okay, how about this one? The rules of first order logic transcend anything even across like multiple universes. So even if the laws of physics of our universe would change, uh, first order logic would still be the same. What? Four starter logic? I meant to say first order, but it's very hard oh. to say. At first, at first I thought you were saying first world, as in like like first world first problems. World logic. And, I, and I was like, what? Oh. Like, what does that mean? God. Oh, first the record world logic that record sounds... isn't that, the record isn't that hard to get, because the, the, the container part of it's just on the bottom. Oh. First first world logic oh, the sounds giant like super soul. colonialist or something. I'm coming, I'm oh. coming. Uh -oh. <laughs> do you see them? Keith? Keith, I need help. Well, how do you need help? I don't like, know what happened. Look how but big I need they help. are. I need Jesus you to come boot me. I need you to boot me right now. I need you to boot me in Africa. <laughs> I'm still kind of confused how that became a meme. Africa? Did a people? Did a bunch of people just like that song or something? Yeah, that song's oh, incredibly popular. Yourself. No, I didn't cement myself. I used the cement to try and uncement myself. I am stuck in here. Ow! That didn't help. Oh God, no! Um. What if I truly? No, it's I packed a chainsaw. Oh, okay. Die, Thanks. tree. It's full of mycelia. Mycelia is your celia. We all celia for icelia. But no, the, uh, that wreckage is scary. It is defended. Why? It is a problem. There's nothing over there. <laughs> the pop on, the poppin' disagrees. Alright, I'm going over there. They just, they just tower. They're monstrous. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a multitude of big boy. Yep. God, <laughs> this feels like a... Oh, they're shooting. Yeah. Oh, they have a oh, battery God. against us. 
Oh this god. Is D -day, I better dude. get to land. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, oh bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I fly away? Ah! Ooh! Knockback. Yeah, they're gonna ram you. Oh, they could if they were alive. Bitch ass, dead ass, cool looking rhino thing. I'm confused why the guns. Thing takes power. No, it's already operational. I'm confused why this Doing... game has guns. <gasps> oh, this is awesome. There's a hard drive. That. Yeah. Hard drives are awesome. Yeah. Just <laughs> you made me think we found something special. It's like I'm like one more for the stack. <laughs> Yes, I. That was the. That was my intent. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to get your hopes up. Ooh, nuts! All right, let's let's see where this goes. I guess the slope, the 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 far northern extreme of the map. But the, uh, the are we, we on the a, northern extreme? Yeah, kinda. We will be if we keep going north. <laughs> nice. The uh, oh, here's a. Uh, Normal copper, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a huge stack of slugs, and like I have three hard drives, and you have I think at I least got one, like one, one or two, two hard drives, and I got I got slugs, I got pockets full of slugs, I got belly full of slug, oh, gross, I got mouth full of slug, Ew. Akuna Matata, <laughs> slurp down them grubs. Mm hmm. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna my tatas. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a very diagonal limestone. I like to imagine that the fucking the miner would just come out diagonal. <laughs> would just yeah. commit. That'd be pretty cool. Like it's still just like orthogonal to the ground. Yeah. Oopsie. What is you? Is you quartz? That's just raw quartz. Pure quartz, but quartz. Uh, that's water. I don't want to fall on that because that water looks <laughs> like the thing that kills you in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, you think it's like super water? It might be. Danger water? It's end of the world water, so I assume that if you touch it, it's like, like, nah, dude. And then like an Ichiosaurus or whatever appears to, to kill you. An Ichiosaurus. <laughs> yeah, the thing from Half-Life 1 and 2. It, the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Ichiosaurus is the mascot of talcum powder. <laughs> <laughs> well, this didn't amount to much. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, that's a dead end cliff of Dover right there. Yep. You call Press it cliff e to pick up no item in foliage. What the hell did you grab? What was that? <laughs> What'd you just do? <laughs> what, 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 what did you just do? Did you god, just have, eat I, that rock? Oh my god, I have seven greens, seven yellows, and two purples. Uh, I don't... I don't know. It just went... It was just gone. <laughs> Uh-oh. It was just <laughs> gone. We find out, like... Later on, that you just ate like the parasite, and then it comes. I imagine out. it was some sort of really weird placeholder. I think oh, it, there's yeah. the limestone that makes this the cliffs. Of Do Wait, no, cliffs are made of talc. Shit. Uh, yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, I don't know. I I I I almost thought it made like a potion sound. Like whenever you I move heard, the like, potions around. Crunch. Like, like yeah, I don't know. The game's relatively quiet, so I wasn't I wasn't ready for a sound. Yeah, it just said press E to pick up no items in foliage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I pressed E and the rock vanished. I don't think I even saw a pop up saying anything came into my inventory. No, I this think it's a ate very the rock. climbable cliff. Yeah, I had a lot of fun scaling that just then. I assume you went up basically the same route as me. I think so. Oh, there's another wreckage cool. up there. So I, th I guess we're, we must be up on the, the steps then, huh? Yep. Maybe there's something cool up here. And it's really inconvenient to get to, so this would be a great place for some nonsense base to be. That's yeah, Pride Rock as to fuck. Just put... Oh yeah, this seems like a fun place to put like a a drone port. 
if we can justify it at all. Otherwise, we might have to go back to Heathcliff. Yeah, maybe. No, I mean, we kind of can't really justify it, except for the fact that there's a ton of space around here. Like, it's very flat and big. It really does feel but, like somebody just made Lion King over here. Children of to make kings and James Bond. What? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm singing Elton John song. Whoa! Did it happen again? Press E to pick up no item in foliage. You found another no item in foliage? <laughs> yes! This is so weird. They're just around. Can you feel the slug tonight? This is so weird. I think this is just a giant, incomplete chunk of map. It is. I say incomplete just because there's not necessarily up. anything for us to actually use or do. Yeah. Is that Stussy? I think I found another cool ass. <laughs> yep. Get back yeah, to me when you come up with a I name. I didn't collect for any it. slugs, <laughs> but I have like four cool S's now. Get a cool. Old I can't. I, I see that that wreckage over there, but I I didn't. I thought I'd get close to it by going this direction, but I was wrong. Ooh. Well, foundation away. Ooh. What? I'm I'm looking out at the dunes from on top of this rock, and I I think I see like seven different ore deposits of various kinds. Yeah, they might not be very high quality, though. Because I think the gimmick of the desert area is that you have a ton of space, but all the resources are really poor. Probably have bad water access, which makes, which nowadays is required for power. Yeah. So they just made it, like, unbearably difficult. Alright, I'm at the wreckage. And it needs 35 motors. Motors. Uh, I have 15. I have not enough. <laughs> this is really neat looking. From Ooh, the, pure uh, iron. From up here, yeah. Pure limestone. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. There's a lot of pure purities, pures. Yeah, we could probably turn this place into some kind of monstrous thing. Maybe we should set up the, uh... We should probably set up the drone port somewhere in this area. Yeah. Do we want to put it on top of, uh... The, the waterfall? Over um... There? Where's the waterfall? It's to the left. Kind of That's not how maps work. Area. Uh, it's to the west. There's like a cascading couple of like waterfall over there. To hmm. the west. Oh, purple slug. It's a little far away from all the deposits, but it is kind of, it feels thematically appropriate to put it yeah. there. Yeah, and we would have to build a base with like because the, all these will have miners and then those miners will have will lead to like production yeah okay i'm gonna put it over there all right i'll eventually figure out where that is slug you might not be able to see the waterfalls once you're off of like the big rocks and like actually between them and the craggies so Oh my god. There's a lot of the, cool stuff over here. This area is this area seems absurd. It's just like a giant grid of random deposits just kind of everywhere. Like once you're in once you're in the duny sort of side of the rocks, you just see deposits everywhere. I don't even know how you'd keep track of them all. Hmm. It would take a while to take stock of just how many there even are. Hmm. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, dunes. Reminds me of the video game Journey. <laughs> Which invented deserts. Yeah. See any see any good fan? Oh, art the the top lately? of that waterfall. Yeah. See oh good, right, uh, you're baiting for me to acknowledge your Ahe Gao journey drawing that you made <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. For whatever so <laughs> uh for, for the for the creative project that I'm working on right now, I have to do a shit ton of art. And so I was just like I was also sick yesterday, so I was just hanging out basically like just doodling on my iPad for like two hours straight because I didn't really have anything else I could do with my time or energy. So uh, I was effectively drawing fan art of a bunch of different things because I wanted to study different styles of like, you know, visual. Oh, <laughs> what the hell game? That was weird of you. Yeah, all right. It just it just kind of the net code freaked out on me for a second there. We're good. We're good. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I drew uh, a journey traveler. And then I was like, oh, I need to do the face now. The face is pretty boring. It's just two circles. And then my subconscious was like, put an eye out face on it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you're right, subconscious. I should do that. So I drew it. And then I looked at it, and I told Ladybird, like, I drew something that I think if I show this to you, you will respect me less as a human being. Mm -hmm. And she was like, And she's like, that's no. impossible. I could never love you less. And then you showed it to her, and she's like, I want a divorce. <laughs> I want to, like, pre-divorce so, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so I, uh... So, so I, I showed it to her, and, and she was like... Or I said... Do you want me to describe it to you without showing it to you? And then you can decide for yourself whether you want to actually see this thing. And she was like, OK. And then she laughed at it. Notice how I did not give you that courtesy. <laughs> like no, the very you, next thing I did was I turned around just, and just sent it to you. You just ambushed with no me with context. it. <laughs> it was just a drawing of a journey character with an Ahigao face. Yeah. And you didn't respond for like an hour. And yeah. Was, like he's either busy or this is this is it, and I don't know where this is it. <laughs> the final straw. Yeah. The, uh... I am often busy. Yes. Oh. Going through a freaky cave. <laughs> what, is the cave got a ball gag? We have to... Never mind. Well, I went, I went, I jumped... Oh, God. I jumped through the waterfall into a cave, hitting, hiding behind the waterfall, because I'm, I'm climbing the waterfall <gasps> manually. Video game? Wow, I didn't know they would do that. That's awesome. And inside was a was another another pig. Oh, that's boring. Little shit. I'm what the is... wise pig of the waterfall. If you give me an apple, I'll <laughs> tell you a hint. But <laughs> translate that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> My hint will be very poorly translated from Japanese and make no <laughs> sense to you. <laughs> It'll be like a zero escape joke. <laughs> you can only infer via the context around it that it may have been some kind of joke, but you don't know what it was. <laughs> That's an incredible part My of those games. My hint is going to be something to the effect of... Seek out oh the wise man in town. Those He'll games are give so... you the next thing. <laughs> Bang your head on the cliff of Deborah. <laughs> yeah. Those Zero Escape games are so badly localized that you really just have these moments where everyone's just reacting weird to something and you're like, oh, I think someone's at a joke in like the first language. <laughs> oh. And they just didn't give us, they either couldn't translate the joke in a way that made sense as a joke. And they also didn't like just like jelly donuts. Replace it with a new joke like Yakuza does. Instead, we just like someone just kind of said a phrase that didn't really make any sense, and then everyone was like, "What? Oh my god! I'm on top of this rock, looking out the dunes, and I legitimately see like 20 nodes." It's really cool looking. 
This is there's so many resources here. What the hell? This is gonna be fun. I can't wait to build up on top of this uh, base. What a project! As like part two, where we get to, you know, just come up with an excuse to extend playing out this game for another month and a half. <laughs> Well, the main thing is to go down the tech tree of obvious goals and so on, but yeah. like in a pl with, with a place like this, we can like build up an entire additional hierarchy of like, and, th and this whole thing just supercharges us making like supercomputers or whatever. And it's like suddenly this you can have like only six parallel. You can suddenly have six parallel manufacturers that are all working all the time. This is the screw desert. It's like our, our existing base is the one that would like it would get stuff done eventually, but yeah. it's a real long eventually. You gotta scale that shit, bro. Do you think that so the drones can carry thing, but I don't know if drones can carry player. Um, yeah, I don't know. We we might be able to ride in them like the train. Maybe. Or you might, oh, or you, yeah, might, yeah, or you might be able to just stand on them, which would be pretty also funny. Very, very likely. Ooh, you might be able to stand on them, but they might not intend for you to ever actually do that. Maybe. Well, they didn't intend us to stand on top of that other thing, and then we got we got content out of that. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, this this path dried up. I'm not getting any higher. Shit. I should just go back. I thought I had a workable path. A workable path. The um I'm ruining the natural beauty of the of the waterfalls by just building a giant series of ramps <laughs> mm -hmm. up the front of the waterfalls. It's gonna take a I lot of self-control to not just build a bunch of stuff here. I might dig up this stuff later. Maybe. The math will be interesting for the amount of ore the math yeah because what come uh if you put a miner on every single one of these resources and then feed them all to the same place that you just have like a dozen parallel uh conveyors mm -hmm. and it's like good luck tracking them back to, like tracking every single conveyor back to all of its origin points to figure out what its like bandwidth is of ore I think the signs would be good for. Like, oh yeah, this one is 320 per minute. That affects your whole everything. How are we gonna power the drone base? Uh, we have to run power all the way back. Okay, I'll have to make a. Uh, or if we were really smart, we would have made we would have made it power stuff to. <laughs> At like the coal stuff that was just yeah. over there. Because there is coal yeah. and stuff here, yeah, so we could have, like, connected everything and, uh, powered this place remotely with a separate circuit. My god. How exciting. Mm. Is there really nothing in here besides this dick? <laughs> you really found a cave behind a waterfall and it didn't contain a damn thing in it? Well, that, the cave behind the waterfall looped around and came out behind another waterfall and got me higher. It's like that's like maybe the high potential, potential uh, intended way up. But uh, by oh, the maybe. ramp that you made higher up here, I found uh, an explodable spot and I blew it up. And when I got inside, it just had it just had one of those fire aliens. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Isn't there anything worth it here? Oh, there's a somewhere's loop. Oh, see, it was worth it. Is it a Somers loop or a Somers loop? Um. Stop it, I'm trying to pick this thing up, dick. You dick! I'm gonna make energy out of your organs. Ooh. It just, I think my little voiced guy, my robo, just said, I strongly advise you to harvest the specimen. Okay, I was going to try to put the uh, drone port on top of one of the uh, giant arcs at the top. That seems like way too much work for making it, you know, 
for for no benefit whatsoever. In fact, making it much harder. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to do that for once. I like how we've made absolutely no progress on our uh, technology today. Yeah, we. This I is fun. To just kind I haven't of even some steam, I haven't even basically. checked today to see what that thing is that we're supposed to build next. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We are high up. It's fun. I like how one of these waterfalls, the water doesn't even come from anywhere. It just spawns 20 feet back behind the waterfall. It's super weird looking. The I hear there's a big lake. great when you're far away, but boy, is it not good when you're right next to it. Yeah. It's like Disneyland. <laughs> wow, this is a really ugly, unfinished part of the map, actually. Yeah, it ain't great. The top of the waterfall is just this giant, repeating, flat sand texture. Huh. Makes me almost wonder if it's, like, dangerous to build stuff up here because it'll get attacked by future game developments. Nah, who cares? Alright, I have made the drone! This area is so big! It has no power. And it must scream. Well, the good news is, even without checking your map, you can tell what direction our space elevator's in. So that's nice. Yeah, wow, they, they literally just draws up into the ceiling, or into the sky. It's yeah, cool. I, think, I think once you get to a certain distance, it basically just looks the same no matter what, off on the horizon, even if the line of sight doesn't work, like, makes sense. Yeah. I had fun. I mean, I know we didn't really achieve anything whatsoever, but it was fun to just kind of have, like, a very casual, like, just, let's just run around the world and see what the hell's going on. Bit of, bit of time. Yep. Let's see. Can I dive into the lake from up here? Because we're going to have to... We're going to have to go over to the coal and make, you know, coal dig em ups time. Coal em ups <laughs> The next fun um, question is going to be... <laughs> uh, can we... How reasonably can I reach the uh, the base again from here? Just by running in a straight line towards the space elevator, putting down power. <laughs> oh, God. How far away from all that stuff are we? Uh. Oh, ho, 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 <laughs> that is far. Probably a bit away. So begins my journey. I am all alone. Ignore the friend I came here with. We don't talk about him anymore. You have another friend? <laughs> What's his name? Oh my god, this part of the game is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, oh my god, look at this slope I'm going down. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, like the, the, the bottom is part is fine, but like up here where the... It's like the most... The waterfall is like the prettiest thing in this game, and then just past it is like... Ugh. Yeah, they really like made it party in the front. Uh, if you follow the way I'm building the, the wires towards where I am now... Oh I'm god. I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> it's so ugly. Underneath, oh god, the, the bottom of the lake behind the waterfall too is just like... Repeating texture hell. Oh, 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 it's so bad. Oh, it's Dark Souls 2. <laughs> oh, it's worse than Dark Souls 2. I always get a kick out of that when you look at some of those places in Dark Souls games, or like when I was playing Half-Life Alex, for example, where you look off into mm -hmm. certain directions like, well, that place isn't very cluttered. I guess you never go there. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like a certain level of like clutter density that just speaks to you of being like, okay, that's that's an area that you play in at some point. 
and you look yeah. at certain spots and you like there's parts now of half-life alex that are pretty dynamic where it's like oh my god i'm going like out a window and crawling out like on the outside of the building on like the like they do in movies when they're like ah this cat stupid cat or whatever the hell or in some action films and uh -huh. so on and you're like where do i go do i drop down to the courtyard do i climb that way what, what could possibly be what they mean for me and you look you look down at the courtyard below and it's just a fucking like empty rectangle of dead grass and like no <laughs> details and you're like oh i don't think i play there i don't think they're sending me that way <laughs> like you can look it's at like, uh, you can look at fences that are like see-through and based on how like bioshock the, the other side of the fence looks you can tell whether or not that's a level or if it's just like just inferring that there's more city in that direction it's sort of like uh the opposite of um like the tom and jerry effect where you see something that's like super outlined looking compared to the painted backgrounds yeah it's like no that's just like the repeating texture shit land you know you don't go there and it was remarkable even although even in dark souls one it was often remarkable how like the moment you got off the beaten ta path it just looked in any yep. a little bit off the path it was just like trash <laughs> it looked horrible like, I remember going it's to really the amusing uh, to me how like, Sen's fortress. Yeah, Sen's like, fortress is really bad about it. Like he went, you, yeah, well, like entire parts of Sen's fortress itself looked, looked like trash just outside the playable area. But then there was like on the on that bridge through the forest that takes you to Sen's fortress in the first place. If you looked left or right, you know, like there's just yes. a bunch of fucking like sim park trees. <laughs> yep. It's like wow, you about to play some stock sounds of birds at me. <laughs> what is this thing? It radiates stussy energy. Oh, yeah, the yellow plants? Yeah. Yeah, those seem kind of significant. I don't know what to do, do with that. Do you want to blow one up real quick? Uh, I probably could. I don't know if it'll do anything, but it might do a thing. It looks like an, a magic artichoke. <laughs> Let's see if I can just cut it. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a Mercer Sphere. It has a Mercer Sphere inside. Oh, you don't pick up gore when you kill things? No. It's gross. Their alien bodies can be transformed into resources. It's gross. We I need want, to monetize everything want... here, especially the life. <laughs> you know what they say, life is money. That's that's probably true in this universe. <laughs> probably do say that. This looks like it might be a path I can use to get up there. Ow. That's kind of a um, uh, another funny moment today now that I think about it. Uh, so back in 2016, Disturbed did the cover of um, The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. Uh... I think that was Five yeah. Finger Death Punch. No, they no, keep, no. Because they keep doing really shitty covers of good songs. No, Disturbed did this. Ah. Uh, and it's pretty much nope. what you would expect of like and a nobody melodramatic nobody slapped their new hand metal. away. <laughs> it's what you would expect, like a melodramatic new metal kind of cover. Like yeah. Like epic. Like very Indistinguishable raw. from Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So... Uh, somebody at work like linked this to me and they were like what do you think of this and I was like no don't ever ask me that question that's the, <laughs> that's the beginning of the end when somebody asks me that question now we can't be friends anymore yeah so they linked me that and I was just like y that, that's interesting thank you for linking that to me <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I was like, I haven't listened to a whole lot of Disturbed. That's interesting. And uh, that's how I navigated that <laughs> of a conversation. Because <laughs> uh, Five Finger Death Punch did a cover of Gone Away by The Offspring, which was terrible. And they oh. did a cover of, and they did a cover of uh, of uh, White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. Which was also terrible. It's almost like uh, they're also whiny baby boys who are too manually <laughs> to do anything like moderately embarrassing or different. So the entire interesting vocalization part of White Rabbit they just skipped over. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not White Rabbit. Uh, sorry. Zombie by the Cranberries. Is what I meant to say. Oh, that's falling to my death. Oh, okay. So the I'm entire fine. like interesting say, part of that song. Rabbit. 
They just didn't Doesn't bother doing. Like White Rabbit is just like, go ask Alice. Yeah, I, I think mixed, she'll I mixed know. Up a bit. It's like um, they ha they have to keep their impact, their their perfect appearance of being an incredibly boring fucking band, so they can't do the actually interesting part of of a uh, zombie. I think. Um, uh, you, okay, yeah, you, you you did get booped, but not so much that you weren't able to uh, make the shit connect. I'm making things go. This is a long oh, trip. Oh, lizard doggo. Yep. I'm, I'm making so it. many I'm friends. It. I'm petting it. Do I have my my zip? Do I have my zip line with me? There it is. I have so many. I have so many items oh, in my inventory that, that are like. A thing in this game. Yeah, I have so many utility items in my inventory right now that they don't even all show up in my quick bar on the top to that, that where that tries to tell you what you're holding. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that doesn't really go what? anywhere. Oh, got the auto saves. What? Oh fuck. Using. Game crash. No, the uh, auto saves freeze the game for like a full second, usually while mid motion yeah. blur, so it's just so disorienting. Oh, and okay. then uh, yeah. if I'm, t I'll be like turning, but the game will ch like chug, and I'll, I'll think I turned around, and then I'll be facing the same way I was already. I'm like, wait, what? How do I leave? I'm getting lost. We're almost back at the base. This wasn't so bad, and especially when we get the zip line, it's going to be really easy to get back and forth. Like we uh, just hold it down and go. Well, I don't think you can zip line from wire to wire. Yeah, that's fine. You have It'll to be like, a lot easier than you have to manually jump onto way. each wire the whole way. Um, I'm, I'm hoping the drone can take us to, uh, can take us there. That's oh, definitely yeah, the no, hope. The, yeah, no, the, I hope so too. I, I I'm full of stupid hope just as much as anyone else. I also hope I don't find out the hard way near the end of this that like the. Uh, this whole this whole thing's like not connected or something. Yeah, well, that's when you just zip, zip line back to uh, check, like where does the connection break? Well, we just check the we just check the power. Yeah, and if it's yeah. powered, then then we're good. I guess we can't check the power. Like right no, now, I can't really. Like side. right now, I can't check the power because it's not attached to anything. And then once I attach it to its destination, that'll just tell me that our destination's powered, which we already knew. <laughs> Shit. Hopefully there'll be some way of telling remotely that the power, that the base is working or something. Yeah. Did I just kill the lizard doggo? I didn't... I mean... Hmm. The lizard doggo is no longer alive after... <laughs> that, that murder was out of context. Being in the same area as me, but that doesn't mean I killed the lizard doggo. What is doggo. with you and killing the lizard doggo? Why do you like this? I don't like it. But you keep doing it. I and love it. it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't benefit from killing it, and it doesn't attack you, so... It seems like you like no. it. That's I, a, wow, that's I'm, a really big one. I'm trying to I'm make the lizard you. doggos love me, but they don't, so... Oh, that's... I might die. Cleopatra. That might that I'm dead. Did you actually die? He does like oh. four pips of damage. Wow. Well, that's as well, good a time as any to. Uh, it's a good thing we almost made it this back. One. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna leave your body retrieval as a problem for next time you. Yeah, because He's, you're gonna make the zip lines, and I'll just yeah, zip line. Later, you is gonna be so mad. Oh, later, he's always fucking angry about something or other, just like present <laughs> me and past me. It's all the same bullshit. Well, it's different bullshit. It's all the same flavor of bullshit. Mm -hmm. He got revenge. That was... Oh, what? You think like that thing was like the lizard doggo's <laughs> like, friend that was just you like, killed, you killed the You killed doggo. my father prepared to die. <laughs> <gasps> I can see things we've built before. Yeah, we're my not God. that far away. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming it's into the cool. crater. Ew. 
It's a nice you crater, mind if I come on it. Dude. <laughs> uh, I take it you're watching Sonic Heroes 2, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start shutting it down. I would say see you tomorrow, but... You won't, because I won't be I here won't. tomorrow. Yeah. No one else showed up today, so I'm just gonna miss everyone for a week. Oh. Yeah, sound good. Fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. I'm gonna collect more slugs and try really hard not to develop the, our discovered area into an entire base in a week while you're gone. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you say that you're a pretty busy person, but uh. a lot of... A lot of satisfactory base expansion seems to suggest otherwise. <laughs> well, no, it's uh, well, I mean, bit. people have free time eventually. Yeah. But you'll, you'll, you contact me in the middle of the day when I'm trying to get all my recordings done and stuff, as opposed to like 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when, okay. when I'm definitely I'll not getting my, any work done. I'll save my Ahegao fan art to send you at 2 a.m. instead. God damn it, I'm being attacked by bees and I was trying to fight them and I, I, I mouse wheeled to a vertical rod and so I started just putting down beacons everywhere instead of swinging at them. How in the fuck is Dogecoin almost 75 cents now? Is that a high number? It's a disturbingly high number. It's because money's made up and the stock market's even more made up. And Dogecoin is... Just entirely like, memes. Yeah, Dogecoin is like an NFT. What? Do Dogecoin is incomprehensibly useless. <laughs> the fact that people pay money for Dogecoins, pay millions for Dogecoins, is like absurd. I don't even understand. I'm gonna go contemplate my life now after seeing that. Bye. Yep. Yeah, the stock market is noise, basically. Just a bunch of random bullshit that only exists because people believe in it. And then people are like, oh, what if I... T what if instead of just believing in this, I took this into, like, lucid dreaming territory? And now I've got modern, like, meme stocks. That's, that's where we are now. This is a very long, tenuous wire. That you just have to hope doesn't get, like, unplugged. Oh, fuck. Hmm. I'm gonna expand this a little further. At least connect it to the the train station itself. Hello, train. This is just such a long connection that will eventually connect to like so much of the base that I want to connect it to like multiple locations. Just so that one thing getting moved doesn't unplug the whole thing. That happens a lot. <laughs> one of the only reasons our main base stays functional is because it has so many redundant connections throughout it. Because otherwise, every now and then I just find like a whole node of it is just unplugged because I moved one, like one. Because like one power cable has been like moved. And that was the load, that was the load bearing one. Welcome back, Screwville. That saved us a little bit of time, compared to having to go all the way back. I was originally kind of running straight back to the base with those power cables, but, uh... Nah. Things kind of worked out there. That's... Oh, that's Heathcliff over there. Wow. So if I make Heathcliff into a base, that's still like a second... That's like a, still a, a separate, like, distinct location. Really, really far off from where we made the drone port here. Oh, you can see, and you can see the topographic lines here. So here's where we made the drone port. So this is the waterfall. 
And here is the huge list of different nodes everywhere. That was just absurd. That was just a lot to look at. That was really that was that was amazing. What a ridiculously uh, mineable zone. All right. Oh, I should have taken the train. Is the Twain still here? No. Guess we're taking the boring thing. Even it's probably faster. But the train's like kind of more enjoyable than the tube. Welcome back to Two Wolf Station. Oh, I forgot to mention it. It's a bird. But uh because the, uh, the two wolves thing poisoned a movie for me a little bit. I don't know if poison's the right word. I don't know. New Mutants came out at some point. I don't even know when. I feel like nobody paid attention to that movie. But, uh... I liked it. I thought it was an alright movie, actually. And, uh, it was interesting because I found out afterwards it has, like, a 30% on Rotten Tomatoes and, like, very low critical and audience scores. And I'm like, oh, really? This is better than, like, the last three X-Men movies that came out. Uh, but there's a part where they're like, there are two bears inside of you, and one of them's good and one of them's bad, and I'm like, oh my god, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're doing the story, they're doing the two wolf story. Like, it's, it's been memed at this point to such an extent that I'm like, just so not ready for the stupid story to show up out of nowhere in a film like this. And there's, <laughs> and, they, and they're like, it's two bears, and I'm like, okay, sure, dad. Oop. Welcome back to civilization. I want to see if I can get the drones to work. We don't necessarily have a goal for what they'll do yet, but I just want them, I just want to know it'll work or not. No power. By what you forgot to plug it in. You big dang dummy. This port. Uh, was there a joke that happened today? I don't even know what to. I don't. I don't know what joke to make about this one. Oops. Drone port one, drone port two. Destination. Does that say 12 miles? <gasps> Is it taking off? <gasps> uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. Save. Uh, that's probably unnecessary. I've had recent saves anyway. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, look, there's that train that, that that bird made but got bored of, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just goes back and forth a lot. Not even that far. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Aww. I'm not I'm not, I'm not running back <laughs> Jesus Christ It looked like it was going to work out until it didn't The funny thing is I survived the fall. So if I hadn't landed in poison, I would have survived. Or if I had reacted fast enough to eat, I guess.
Goodbye, train. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it turns out the game will save while you're in the hypertube. And yeah, we 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 had we encountered this recently. It'll save while you're in the hypertube, and then when you load, you won't be in the hypertube, so it'll just dump you. So like the the sky bridge dumped me. Thankfully on land, I guess. And if any place to dump to dump me, the best place is probably the uh, the train tracks. Everything else is like a uncultivated nightmare forest full of poison and monsters. Gotta hope it doesn't come up behind me. It was going the other way, so it'll take a while for it to return. say train station Josh Berg's mom is Batman <laughs> that one just kind of keeps going I see he renamed it hey Blardy I was surprised Bird hadn't seen one of these guys they're just around in our base all the time he seems really surprised Okay, let's see what the drone's takeoff looks like when I'm not on the drone. Is that Hoyt? That is unfortunate because it means we don't have any way of getting back to the, to the other base easily. Which is kind of the basis of us developing it as a base. It's going to be kind of a pain. Session 20, the exploration session. I'm sad that we can't seem to like get it in it or anything. That makes me sad. Bye! How harsh is that takeoff gonna be? Because it launched me off. Oh, it go. Oh, it go. Oh, you can see on the map. Why is it going that way? What? It went here, then here. Oh, it's taking a weird path. Huh. It kept going further to the east. Seemingly right until the very moment that it was on the axis. Oh, hey, it's exploring the map a little bit. <laughs> It kept going further east until the moment it was e the maximum amount of east it would take to get to its destination. And then it stopped going east. So maybe it just keeps going diagonal for as long as both north and east are valid directions for approaching its destination. The moment it gets east enough to be most of the way there, then stops. Look at it go. 
And now it's doing like a landing path on top of the waterfall. His choice of landing site's gonna make it so unnecessarily a pain in the ass for us to ship stuff up there to transfer back and forth. It just keeps circling. Is it gonna land or is it gonna just fucking crash?